Cutout animation has been around since the beginning of animated films, as seen in features, shorts, and television. For a while now, commercial productions like South Park go for a cutout look, but they're actually done in computer. That's a good option to consider, where you hand draw the assets but animate them in After Effects. But for this tutorial, I'm going to go old school and shoot with the camera. So you can create animation like this with craft supplies and a phone. First, sketch your characters and props out completely, making them the size of the final version so you can use them as a template. Then draw the parts individually, giving the heads, arms, and legs overlap. Consider making different views of the character, like from the front, side, and three-quarter view so your character can move around more. You can create or at least color your assets in Photoshop, but again, I'm going old school here just for the fun of it. Connect the body parts to each other with aluminum armature wire. Other kinds of wire like steel and copper are difficult to animate, and the wire cannot be stronger than the tape or glue you're using, or it will come apart or wrinkle while animating. If you're using glue, avoid lumps. The character needs to lay flat. Facial features should be separate so they can be animated using replacement animation. These eyes were made using a hole punch. For my setup, I'm positioning picture frame glass several inches above the background so both the character and the background can be animated separately without one moving the other. The tough part is avoiding shadows on the background, so take your time setting this up to get it right. The animation is done just like it's done with stop motion puppets. Let the characters hold their position long enough to read their emotion and intention, then move them frame by frame following the principles of anticipation, ease in and out, and follow through. Transition from front view to three quarter and profile in big moves so they don't just suddenly pop from one to the other. For facial features, use repositionable glue available at office supply stores or online. To make the character move forward, I'm sliding the background along one frame at a time. So cutout animation is a way to tell a story that may be too big for your stop motion resources but still has an appealing storybook aesthetic. I'm hoping this will just get you started with the possibilities of this method. Thanks for watching.